Today we're going to be featuring the Stalker Dual DSR 2X. 2X meaning that it displays both the front and the rear antennas simultaneously. You turn the radar on and off by pushing this power button. It'll come through and show all the segments are lighting. And here we have um, the patrol speed shown in this right hand window. And up here we have the front um, strong and then fast, fastest speed. And here we have the rear, the strongest target and the fastest target. So uh, we can go through the menu and turn the fastest off and on, adjust the sensitivity up or down on the opposite direction. Uh, the same lane we can adjust the sensitivity up or down and then uh, squelch is on of course uh, that just gets rid of all the static noise whenever a car whenever a, a vehicle is not present and then patrol uh, we're going to patrol down to 20 we can change that to 10 or 5 or 20 leave that on 20 unless you're patrolling lower than 20 put it on 10 if you're patrolling lower than 10 put it on 5 but for the most part keep the keep that on 20 um, then the next thing in the menu is uh, a feature called stop which we won't get into you can go look in the manual for that and the alert okay uh, those are features hardly ever used but they are covered in the manual uh, this shows two antennas so if we were running this radar with only one antenna we'd want to hit this down there and change that to one okay but we're running two okay so we to clear that we turn the radar off and back on and that locks in all of our settings now we're actually um, we're sitting in stationary and we can we can here's the remote on the radar we can adjust we can hit the hold button on the front now we have both antennas in hold or not putting out any signal to defeat radar detectors so we can take our front antenna out of hold and then we instantly get um, a 60 mile an hour and notice the arrow is showing toward us okay we are getting a fast car that's beeping in here every now and then too on the rear we can take it out of hold and we're showing a, a speed a speeds in that direction as well and this arrow shows which whether they're going away or coming toward us in the rear okay notice we have the fast on both of them so that means we're going to track the fastest car if there's a faster car it's going to show that so now I'm on opposite so I don't see um, I'm not picking up any cars because I don't have it on same so I'm going to put this on same and now I can they're going the same direction of travel as I am so they're going to show up if I put it back on opposite those cars go away and I'm only going to pick up a speed uh, if someone's coming in the opposite direction like this car right here that just started up okay so if I want to see this someone going the same direction I am I put it back in same and that's the car there going in the same direction of travel as I am same thing holds for the rear okay there was a, f a fast car if there's a faster car it'll show it in that window okay now we're reading speeds in both directions on this radar I'm pulled off the road so I've got both front and back antenna on same that means I'm picking up the off the front antenna I'm picking up cars going the same direction I am in the right lane and I'm also picking up the right lane in the rear and um, we've got cars coming both ways so if I want to lock in say this this car right here I hit the lock button rear stationary closing and let me adjust the volume up on that a little bit okay okay so I did that by hitting the audio button the audio uh, the volume and then I can cycle through whether I want the beep sound that you're hearing when I do that, the voice, or the actual Doppler audio on, and what volume. So I got the Doppler audio on too now. 
Okay, so we're, we're picking up the left, the right lane, both front and rear antenna. So I'm on, I want to lock in this guy here at this 42. I hit the same lock release button. Run, stationary, away. So it shows, uh, it said at the front antenna, I'm sitting still, stationary, and away means he's going away from us. Try it again. Front, stationary, away. Okay. I'm going to hit the rear antenna, the same thing. Rear, stationary, closing. So that means the guy coming up, he's in the right lane, so he's closing in on me. Rear, stationary, closing. Okay. So, uh, if I want to, now I can take these off the same, and I'm going to put them both in opposite. I'm going to put um, opposite as the uh, car is coming toward us on the front, but on the back, I'm still looking at uh, cars in the same direction as the same direction. So now I can lock this guy in here. Front, stationary, closing. So that's that white car. And when I locked it, the voice said front stationary closing. That affirms to you really what you locked in. If you didn't remember which one of these four lock keys you pressed. Because you have a lock from the, for the front, the same, and you have one which is the same direction you're pointing, or you have a lock the opposite. Same thing on the rear. You got lock opposite and lock same. So, we're locked in here. I'm going to clear that reading. And on the front now, I'm going to hit, I'm going to go to opposite. So it's ignoring these cars going away from me here. And it's just got that car over in the left lane. And I'm going to lock him. Stationary, closing. Okay. Lock in this second car here. Front, stationary, closing. Mm -hmm. Now the truck, if I wanted to pick him up, I would, I would hit same. My arrow now is showing that he's going the same way I am. He's doing 53 up there. And I can lock him in. Front, stationary, away. Front, stationary, away. Okay. So you got four lock buttons. Two for the front, two for the rear. And so if you're if you're in the same direction moving mode, you want to lock in using the same button here on the front. So we're gonna do the opposite now. And we got these cars coming toward us. And of course that semi is blocking them for the moment. Okay, there they are. If I hit my lock button now. Front, stationary, closing. I'm at front antenna and clo traffic closing in on us. So the voice enunciator actually tells you whether you're in stationary or not and whether you locked in the front antenna and the closing target or the await or the one going away. Okay, in rear I'm, I'm watching this guy coming up behind us and so I'm going to hit the lock button on that. Rear, stationary, closing. Now all I do is hit these buttons once again to clear those out. Now notice this, these, these are showing fast cars. When I'm not using that as a lock window, the radar is actually showing the fastest car. I'm on the same, so it's looking at all the cars down that line going away from us, showing the strong target here and the fast target here. So that's that. So now we're going to go ahead and go moving. And so to do that, we're going to put our radar in up here to the top button, moving stationary. Now, it's not showing a patrol speed because I'm not moving, but notice too, if I turn off one of the antennas, I can turn both antennas off or turn them both both on. So we're going to move this now and we're going to look at the opposite 
on the front antenna and we want to do the same on the rear because I want to see people coming up behind me in same and also want to see people um, coming toward me when I'm on my front antenna. So I'm going to start moving here. As soon as I get up to 20 mile an hour, it's going to pop in. Now it's showing the it's showing this car. No cars up there right now. It's going to show this car here. It's doing 64. Front opposite closing. There is a car behind me doing 54, and I could lock him in like this. Rear, same, closing. So look at what all I can do with that. I can see four different speeds with this. The front and rear strong target and front and rear fast target. If there's a fast target that's, that is faster than the strong target. Now we're picking up the opposite direction. We got that car way up the road there. I can lock him in. Front, opposite, closing. Or if I want to see that car to the right in the same direction I am, I put my radar in same. Now I'm seeing his speed up here, the white truck. And I can lock him in. Front, same, closing. The closing meant I was closing in on him. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. I can barely see that car in the same. Going around a curve here. Now if I want to lock that white truck in, I hit my button. Same, closing. So I got, that's how fast he was going. When I was doing 62, he's doing 56 because I'm closing in on him. Now I'm going to go to opposite. No cars coming at opposite on the front. There is a car closing in on me from the rear and it's showing him. There's a pickup truck, I mean a semi. Front, opposite, closing. Okay, as soon as we get a car here in the, we got the, a car closing in now. Front, opposite, closing. So and I, at the same time now, I can see cars doing the same direction I am in the rear antenna. And it just so happens there's a car that's pacing me. So you got to be going about two or three mile an hour faster or slower for it to pick up in the same direction moving mode. So let's go back to same on this front antenna. That's the truck in front of me right there. I'm doing 53 and I can lock front, him in. Same, closing. Lock him in. I can actually uh, put, put my rear antenna in hold if I don't want to see those readings. And all I want to do is see the front. I put both the front, the front antenna in hold, then I don't see any readings at all, of course, even my patrol speed. Pull it out of hold, it shows my patrol speed in this car coming at us at 40. Front, opposite, closing. Some of those guys were going pretty fast. Okay, we're coming around the corner. Here comes another car. 57, locking in. Opposite, closing. Here's the semi. Front, opposite, closing. And so forth. I'm going to take the rear antenna out of hold. And it's going to show me the car behind me.
doing 54, 55. I'm going to lock him in. Rear, same, away. Locked him in at 55 in the middle, in the fast window there. So this radar basically will allow us to track four cars. Uh, the front antenna, the strong car, and the fastest car. The rear antenna, the strong car, and the fastest car in the rear. At the same time, at the same time I can have the radar in opposite mode on the, like this on the front antenna and have it in the same direction mode on the rear antenna. So I can see cars coming at me from the front and cars coming up behind me on the rear. Lock that guy in there. Front, opposite, closing. Okay, this is to actually show the, the unit in stationary mode. We've got, um, we can put both antennas in hold and we won't get any speed to defeat radar detectors. If we want to put the front antenna out of hold, we're getting a speed now of a car going away. We can lock, use the same key since he's going the same direction we're pointing. Front, stationary, away. And, and it locks that, that speed in. We're gonna lock this 45 in Front, or 44. Away. Okay. Then on the same thing on the rear, we're gonna take it out of hold. We're actually picking someone coming up from behind at 45, 44. So rear, we're gonna, stationary, closing. We can lock those in as well. So we're in same on the rear. Rear, stationary, closing. Okay, now I'm going to put the rear in the um, opposite, which means the car is already past me and receding in the back window. Rear, stationary, away. And then I'm going to put the, the front as the car is coming toward me, which is pretty much what you're going to use. You want to use this radar in such a way that you got cars coming towards you from the front and, in, and the ones in the back are coming in the same direction you are. That way you're getting cars coming up from behind and coming towards you from the front. So I'm using my antenna as the front antenna and opposite and I'm using the rear antenna and same. So if I, I got to use the same lock key to lock rear, that. Stationary, closing. And I got to use the front opposite lock button to lock in that reading. Front, stationary, closing. Front, stationary, closing. So I can see two cars. If I want to, I can see the fastest cars as well by going into the menu and turning the fastest on, cycling the power off and on. Now, I will actually show cars, fast cars as well. Notice fast is lit up in both windows. So I'm seeing a car coming from the behind at 48, but behind him there was actually a fast car. It just flashed in there for a second. Same thing here. This strong car up front is 45, but there's one in the background, probably that truck that's in 49. So some remotes have strong lock, and some remotes have fast lock. You can actually lock in the fastest speed on those remotes. But this one, I don't believe is. And it's got a... Front, stationary, closing. It's, it's gonna lock in the strong target because they don't want you to accidentally lock the fast car in. If you lock in, they, they don't want you to lock him in thinking you're locking this, this guy in. Front, so. stationary, closing. So the fast window turned to a lock window when I'm locked. When I unlock, it turns back to a fast window. So it's showing the fastest car in that window if there's a faster car. And when I'm locked in, Front, stationary, closing. it's a lock window. No longer seeing the fastest car, I just got my locked in speed. And that concludes this section of the DSR-2X.